Hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome back once again to Monster Sanctuary. We're checking out the uh, the icy peaks up here. Uh, we were a little over farther to the left last time, but I remembered we hadn't checked out this little cave here. I figured we would swing back this way real quick and see what was over here before we went too much further on. Uh, I don't know what, if anything, is here, but worth looking around. I hope you're all having a fantastic Friday. You know, hope your week went satisfactorily for you. And I do hope you're enjoying the series so far, and thank you for checking it out. So far, a lot of really pretty visuals here. Oh, there one of these. Okay, ice. Okay. Ah! Cold water is lethal. Gotcha. Okay, I guess that's why we didn't go this way. I mean, I didn't know it at the time, but you know what I mean. Alright, we're going around, it seems. I wonder if there'll be like a monster that'll just survive cold water later. That is, seems likely. But I guess we won't know until we get there. I seriously love the, 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 the jump boots we found. Like,. I know it's kind of a kind of like it's it's not like a like a revolutionary Metroidvania oops, thing or anything like that, but I just really enjoy that we have the the, the option to double jump. You know, it's 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 not like hugely complicated or anything, but it's cool. You know, basically, it gives you a great sense of freedom to just roam around. Yeah. So we left off just about here last time around, with the uh, crystal slugs and the mogwai. I'm trying not to fight too many things at the moment, just so we can explore more than like fight. What is that? Hello. Can I move you? No. Can I melt you? No. Lightning? No. No, no. Huh. Guess it's just kind of there then. We do have an earth orb up here though. No, I want uh you. Yo. Verdant gem. Ooh, level three uh, 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 material for upgrades. Very nice. It's telling me that there's. All right, that's one way to the left. Oh, wait, we missed one down here. Hang on. Oh, phone. Ah, the, the teleport. Excellent. And, uh... A keeper. Hey, old Keeper Lancer Metamon. Beautiful lake, isn't it? They say the frozen oracle resides in a cave beneath the icy water. She only reveals herself to the brave and the worthy. Whoa, watch out! D -d -d Don't step too close to the water, you might fall in! I want to tell you that, 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 that it's, it's deadly to, to have a swim in icy water, right? Unless, unless you have some mighty warm clothes on you, but they don't look like it. If you do want to explore the other frozen lake, you get some, some some kind of protection against the cold. I heard there's a legendary clothes maker who can outfit you with something that allows you to swim in the icy water for as long as you'd like. Only made from a beast's hide and magma pillar silk, I believe. And you can make it only when a full moon shines down on the mountaintop. I should mention, though, that she lives near the top of the eastern mountain of, uh, of Snowy Peaks. Easy way to get there? You climb up the mountain that you just passed through, there's a long bridge leading di directly to the mountain w w where the clothes maker lives. Wish you good luck scaling the mountains. Always watch your step. Well, there you go. I guess we have got our answer after all. That's the one thing I've learned about this game. Sometimes it pays to to just, like go part way in somewhere because like you like for me usually I like to totally explore one direction and then totally explore like the next direction. I can't be here already, can it? Lady Stasis. Why, hello there. You can't come at just the right time to assist me with with my experiment. A scientific breakthrough of unparalleled proportions. Oh, forgive me. I'm going to introduce myself. I'm Lady Stasis, a leading scholar in the field of monster science. I also specialize in cryomancy. You'll see that both of these things are relevant to the experiment I'm trying to conduct. Keeper Lancer, have you ever heard of the monster reason known as Shockhopper? Uh, I don't think so, no. <clears throat> of course not. I know about a species that has been extinct for more than 400 years. Anyway, it's my current scientific pursuit to reintroduce Shockhoppers to the world. All I've had to do was single out a possible genetic relative of shockhoppers. After many experiments, I've managed to do so. The only problem is that all I have of that other monster species is a couple of feathers. You understand my conundrum? I can't recreate a long extinct monster from from, from just a feather, and uh, this is I can't I, I can't create a monster from thin air. I might be able to, however, if I had an egg of that monster. 
Using cryomancy together with what I've discovered about Shockhopper's genes, I could shock freeze the red monster's egg and imprint it with, with the extinct monster's profile. Sounds logical, doesn't it? So all I need is the egg of the related monster, which is called Dodo. There are Dodos in this game? Cool. These can be found on Horizon Beach, which is at the very eastern edge of the sanctuary, beyond the ancient woods, probably near the farm, considering the, the generally tropical area over there. I believe you need a, you need a monster that, that can swim to, to, in order to get there, though. The entire monster science community would be grateful to you if you, if, if, if you brought me a Dodo egg. Of course, I'll let you keep, keep, keep the transformed egg. It'd be, it'd be quite a rare monster to have. Oh. Swimming monster, though. I don't have one of those yet, either. So, I'll have to go on the for later list. Um. Hi there! What are you? I just kind of pop, pop, hopped over like, Hi! What's up? <laughs> Alright, so it's weak against physical... But is resists all magic. Well, that sort of makes my current team a little difficult to use, so better switch back to the goblin team. Look at these guys, though. They're, they're cute. They're like, hi! <laughs> I think their tongues pop out every so often. They're like, mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Silly buggers, look at them. <laughs> they're, 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 they're like um, velociraptors if they were, like, cute and cuddly. <laughs> Okay, well, let's start off with, uh, buffs, just to be safe, I guess. Gemstone rain. Okay, so they have some earth earth magic. And wind magic. Earth and air, but no, no ice so far? Interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, they're gonna resist anything that, that our mage does, which is kind of a drag, but at least we can poison. Same goes for, well, actually, our, our, our warrior guy can, can poison, but is also not resisted, which is nice. Because we have our fiery shots on our little archer friend. And we'll start off with here. Uh, yeah. Did it burn? Oh, no, the burn didn't, didn't take that time. Because it's, it's still a random chance for burn, I think. So, that's kind of the unfortunate thing. These things seem to be exclusively magical so far as well. I'm only seeing magic thus far. It's not a bad thing, but against our goblin team, it's not very effective, so it works for us, really. Alright, let's build up this, uh... There's that burn we wanted. Let's stack up some poison as well. There's a toxic slam in there. Alright, so this, uh, the middle one and rear one should probably go down on the next round just by themselves, if I had to guess. So we'll focus on the front one. Need a mass restore to keep us in tip tip top shape. Trying to get Neg after all. And pass the slam. They're called Orum Tails, by the way. Sorry, I didn't say so before. Alright. Poison, 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 poison. Nope, middle one did not go down. Not enough poison. Let me just fix that real quick. Right. Orm tail egg, please, maybe? Yay! Definitely gotta check one of these guys out. They're cute looking. I like them. Ooh, a little 20 for one of our uh, goblins. Ooh. What new toys do you have? Thunderstrike. That's the one that does more damage if they're shocked. So that's excellent for uh, targeted destruction. Hex is good for random debuffing. I want age, though. Age is a really cool uh, a buff. Every turn you gain a stack of age, and for every stack you get plus 3% damage, uh, damage reduction, and mana regen. So just basically, the longer the fight goes, the tougher the goblin gets, which is just nuts. So that's really cool. Um, I love the healing, too. They're all really good, honestly. Ooh, increases defense by 50% of mana. Ooh, that's nice, too. There's a lot of cool stuff at this level, actually. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna start with, uh... I do want Poison Cloud later, too. I'll start, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll start with Aging, because it really is just handy. Um, let's check out this, this Orum Tail. Like, I I, I want to start hatching things again, because I miss, I miss checking out the new monsters. 
I'll, I'll have to do some kind of like a like a like a monster showcase at some point in like coming up, I guess, because like you've already, you've seen all these ones. You've seen the, the Blob, the Nightwing, the Mad Eye, the Glow. Well, I think I think you guys have seen a Glowfly, but the Beat Lloyd is new and it's rare too. So these because that one was a champion, so that one, <sighs> you know, it's a champion, which means it's unique. So I couldn't get a new egg of it. Is the thing. But mass antidote. That's handy. Nothing this way. No, I think that way. Just checking. <laughs> the arm tails are adorable. Look at me. What's up? Oh, uh, snow thing. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got this, I got this. Hey, yo! Mangoes! I do love me some mango, I'm not gonna lie. Very nice fruit. Ooh, okay, hang on. That's gonna take a little bit of uh, finagling to get through. There we go. Ah, okay. That looks like something bonusy. I was saying before. Uh, most of the time, I like to like to like totally explore one direction before coming back to the other directions. But I'm learning in this game, it seems to pay off more to kind of just whoops, to kind of just like go with the flow and like check like part way down different paths as you go. Because there are a lot of little offshoots that don't go very far, so a lot of the time it's worth it to just stop and have a look. No poison? Oh, one poison. Avalanche! Ah, yeah. Sorcery plus glory equals fun. There's some more poison for them. Ooh, right, and, and I think uh, we have congeal now on, on, on our uh, Yowie, don't we? Which means the more mana that our foes are missing, the more damage they passively take from congeal, which is really cool, actually. <laughs> Honestly, I think at this point we can pretty much do anything and they'll just take out, they'll just go out next turn anyway, so. Healing wave. Ice storm. And finishing blow. It does seem like you're limited to like only one egg per mo per each monster uh, at, any, at any given time, which is fine. I understand that. Twenty one twenty. Quick look put here. Okay, the archer has level twenty now. Giant bane gives it five percent more damage against everything. Gains stuff lots of health. It gets twenty percent more damage, which is kind of awesome. Ooh, a random burn to something at the start of combat sounds quite nice. Every monster in the party has to look for the random buff, also nice. Making its buff apply to the whole party is certainly appealing as well. That's glory to the whole party. Um, ooh, attack proc. Ooh. And attacks that target chill enemies have a 10% increased crit chance. Ooh. Oh, the goodies! Okay, attack, uh, attack, proc, and... I mean, the initial burn and initial chill are gonna be awesome. Man, this guy has a lot of cool stuff early on, honestly. Crit damage plus. It's already, like, 83%. Dang. Fine. Um, big giant's bane for now. And then for you... Stacking sorcery sounds very appealing to me. But a lot of this guy's stuff does. Uh, so cool. Uh, magic proc. Yes. Magic and mana procs. There we go. That'll do. That'll do for now. Try to keep my 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 forays into my skill trees brief, because as you guys know, I'm a bit of a bit of a bit of a fan of my skill trees, and I'll get lost in them forever. So, in the interest of not boring you all, I'm trying to keep that a little bit restricted. Ah, hello. The or the the or tails are like, hey, what's up? They're like, they're like icy kangaroos. 
of these cat things. There's the bridge. Okay. So that's where we're going. But what is this way? Oh, hi there. I can't get that high, can I? Yes, I- ah! Okay, wasn't quite ready to jump there. Cool. Hello. Leather. I oh, I mean, useful, but also, oh. I can totally make that, right? Hang on. So can, too. Hang on. Yeah! A scepter. That's new. Mana 25, mana regen 5. It's not that powerful, but some upgrades, maybe. You can drop down here, you can drop down here. So I thought there was something there to drop down on, but I guess not. Oh, there's totally a thing there. Hang on, I saw a crack in the ice. See? Crimson gem. Any on this side, I wonder? It doesn't look like it, but I kind of want to make sure now. No. Okay, we're in the clear. Just checking. Alright. Cross the giant bridge. The really giant bridge. The holy Toledo, this thing is long bridge. Where are we going? Actually, you know what this place reminds me of is Fendrana Drifts. From Metroid Prime, I love that area's music. This 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 one too, actually. Similar similar kind of a notion. I don't know what that was back there. I didn't really look at it. I just kind of saw a way to go up, and so I just took it. Because my my curiosity is in full swing now. I'm just like ah, explore. <laughs> Scroll plus three, cool. Instantly fall into your death. Okay, sorry about that. Oh, 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 ah! Whoa, what are you? It's like the Minotaur, but like without with, without the axe, and it's bigger. Huh. As your gem. Hang on, what, 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 what is this thing? Megator. Oh, the Minotaur evolves! Whoa. That's physical and magic. The cat only has physical, and the thing only, only has magic. That's neat, though. Meet the fire. Well, I can do that. All right. Well, let's start off with a nice storm. Get some of that uh, nice chill that I like so much involved. And the poison. Start burning stuff. So it has like ice magic and such, and hair. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm noticing the hair now as well. Poison, more chill. As far as I understand, it, the, the the damage of the uh, the damage of the chill de uh, 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 debuff um, increases based on how much mana they're missing. So. The more mana they spend, the more it hurts, which is really brutal, actually. I like it. The, the, the ability to like stack sorcery uh, buffs on um, 
our Manticore will be owning some too. Because he, he, he naturally gets a stack of sorcery each time he, uh... Rawhide. Each time he, uh, exploits an enemy's weakness. So he'll stack those up real quick, which is nice. Two Giant Spains. More Toxic Slam. More Beating. More Mana Mana, 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 mana Regen. More Shielding. Poison Grenade. Ooh, can poison attackers whenever it gets hit. That's quite nice. Um. Oh. Well, shielded um, allies gain 10% more, more attack damage. That's cool. Well, he already reflects d damage to people when he gets attacked, so sure, you know what? Here, I have, I have, I have some free poison. Because he can shield people, which puts him in the line of fire more, so it works. Pretty well, honestly. So we've already been above here, but not right here. Skill resetter, always nice to have a few of those lying around just in case. There's a drop down, which I think leads to like down there. So we'll come back to that after. And here we have a house. Uh huh. Pardon me, miss. Ha! Huh, what a surprise! A visitor! Hello! Get warm by the fire, I'll make some tea for you. Oh, I have an even better idea. You came to me because you want to swim in the icy water, yes? You can probably swim in a lake that won't freeze you to your bones, but I can already see you've a stubborn one. I know better than to argue with some young know-it-all. I'll make some warm underwear for you, yes? Trust me, to keep you warm even when you're at the bottom of the frozen lake. It's true what you heard. I make it from a beast's hide and magma pillar silk. I can make warm underwear even when there isn't a full moon. Just bring me some raw hide, all right? I think I already have some. Yeah. You already have some rawhide? Well, why are we still talking then? Let me make some warm underwear for you. Gotta wear your long johns in the cold, don't you know? All right, I hope you like it. I made it specially for you. Gained warm underwear. But like, if it gets super wet, isn't it, like how's, how does that help? You know, maybe it's like a wetsuit or something. But then it's made of rawhide, so magic, I guess. Stay as long as you like, or you can go into your, 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 your new warm underwear by, by diving into some icy water. Just don't forget to visit me every now and then, all right? Yes, ma'am. Oh, she, she has her, her own uh, source of silk right there with the mega pillar. That's cool. Well, all right then. Um, I guess we'll... Hang on, how long are we going for? We're going for about 20, 20 minutes or so. Eh... All right, we're gonna leave it here then, you guys. We've we've journeyed to to, to the peak of, of of well of the snowy peaks, and we're going to uh, go. You know, we'll, we'll we'll drop down this this, this icy chute next time around and see where where these icy paths take us. Because there's one off the left to find the oracle, and there's one down to the right of us as well to go past that switch. So we'll see what we get to next time. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. I hope you had a blast. Um, I'm gonna check out some of these other monsters. I think soon. I can't what honestly here. Like just real quick, this thing's too cute not to not not to check out. Look at him, look at him, <laughs> little tongue just. Bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> um, I'm gonna call you. I don't even know what to call you. It's like 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 a like a, like a raptor, but like cheerful. Um, I suck at names. Uh, Alpine, no. Snowdrift, snow cone. I'll go snow cone. Why not? Go as your name him later. Snow cone. All right. Whoa. <laughs> what does what does snow cone do? Gemstone rain, whirlwind, physical no, a magical uh, earth, magical wind. Has a, has a has a natural sense for gold apparently. Just just has four different talents for finding more money. Oh, I guess it's what's called Orum Tail because Orum is like gold, not 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 got cold. Also a shield tank, arcane shield. Oh, there's a shield that also applies a sorcery buff. That's cool. Shield burst, so it can detonate the shields it puts up. Man up, it's just a, like a support monster. Unique aura, reach instance of gold sense in the party of your monster, and the party deals 5% more damage and receives 5% less damage. Oh, so it just gives 20% more attack and defense as long as it has all of its money money sensing going. The soul beam. This thing's kind of funny, actually. I like it. 
Mana proc, mana proc. Overcast. Two overcasts? Plus double impact. Transfusion, so it heals itself like crazy. Plus the gold sense. Plus, wow. Is this a, is this a really, really, like, all-around handy support critter? That also has magical earth and wind damage. And can blow things up with shield bombs, because why not, I guess. <laughs> That's kind of cool. <laughs> and look, can, can, can like, you ride on it or something? <gasps> yes! Look! Look! <laughs> That's awesome! It's glorious! You can even double jump! Yes! <laughs> Yes! It's so good! That's so cool! <laughs> uh, doing, 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 doing. <laughs> oh, I'm happy now. Alright. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm gonna just like ride around here like an idiot and just enjoy this thing for a bit. <laughs> uh, I'll see you lovely folks uh, and monsters next time around. For now, a Monster Mad out. Bye bye <laughs>